Hey there. You've probably heard that you should be encrypting your computers, but you might not realize just how important this actually is. If your device isn't encrypted, anyone who gets a hold of it will have full access to your browser information, documents, and everything on the computer. Now, you might think, well, I have a password set. Well, if the disk isn't encrypted, that Windows password does not matter at all. So, I thought I'd give a high-level little demo emphasizing why disk encryption is so important. Here, I have a Windows 11 laptop. Note that this laptop was originally Windows 10 and then was upgraded to Windows 11. I'll bring this back up later as to why that's uh, important. Just note that this is probably a common setup many people will have today. But anyway, I have this text document on my desktop right here, and this has important information on it that I don't want other people to get a hold of. But I'll go ahead and lock the computer. And note that this Windows account does have a password set. But again, I don't care about the password since it doesn't actually matter since my drive is not encrypted. To demo grabbing the contents of the file without knowing my Windows password, I'll just turn this computer off and then take it apart. Okay, my laptop is disassembled and I'm looking for the SSD, which is right here. I can go ahead and pull this thing out. Now, this is nothing special. It's just a standard 2.5 inch internal SSD. Pretty common to see this kind of thing in laptops and desktops. I can set this aside for the moment. Next, I have this device right here, and this is a SSD to USB adapter. This particular one actually has multiple hardware connector types, so it's pretty neat. But this isn't some fancy, expensive equipment. These things were like $20 online. And what this does is it lets me connect an internal device, like an internal hard drive, internal SSD, and plug them into the USB port on a main computer, or a secondary computer. I can go ahead and plug my laptop's SSD right into this device. And now that that is connected, I can go ahead and cut away to my Windows computer with the adapter plugged into it. And now I'm on my secondary Windows 11 computer. I can open up File Explorer, go to this PC, and of course we see the C drive, which is the C drive for this Windows 11 computer, but we also see the E drive. And this is actually the Windows partition from the SSD from my laptop. I can open this up, and no password required, and I can browse that Windows partition. I'll go to Users, My User, Look at the desktop from the laptop and right here you can see that file that i had on my desktop which i thought was password protected because the windows account had a password but as we can see clearly it did not matter if i did not know the password since the drive was not encrypted i can just pull the ssd plug it into a secondary windows computer and open everything inside the file system now some of you might be thinking well i use linux not windows so that's not my problem but that would be incorrect, since Linux functions the same way as Windows if the drive is not encrypted. As you can see on screen now, I have another laptop, except this one is running a new install of Ubuntu. And just like before, I have a document on my user's desktop that I probably don't want others to see. But also, just like last time with Windows, this drive is not encrypted. I'll go ahead and pull this laptop apart. Okay, my Ubuntu laptop is pulled apart, and just like last time, I only care about the storage device. This laptop does use a hard drive, not an SSD, but the form factor doesn't matter. I'll just go ahead and pull this hard drive and plug it into my adapter just like before. Now that that is done and plugged in, I can go ahead and switch over to my main computer. This time I do have Linux Mint running on my main computer instead of Windows 11. It's easier for file system compatibility reasons, but I won't get into that here. Either way, when I plug the hard drive into my adapter, it auto-mounted to Linux Mint, so I can just instantly open it up. And just like that, I have access to all the files from my Ubuntu laptop without using a password. So I can go to my home directory, user's desktop, and here's my file. Maybe this whole thing was a little eye-opening for you, or maybe you're stupidly obvious. Either way, I hope it was a pretty decent little demo of why you need to encrypt your computers. I won't cover how to set up encryption on Windows and Linux really in this video since that's in-depth enough to justify their own videos, which I do plan on doing later. But for Windows, if your device is compatible, the easiest way to encrypt that device is to just go to device encryption in the settings and make sure it's turned on. Although there can be a couple issues here, like your computer might be older and not compatible with the default device encryption. And another thing is that Microsoft does like to push requiring online accounts to get the full device encryption enabled on Windows Home, and you might not want a Microsoft account. 
Something important to know is that newer computers that come pre-packaged with Windows 11 will have device encryption enabled by default, but it's common to not see it enabled by default in older devices. You can also see situations like mine where my laptop was originally Windows 10, and then when I upgraded to Windows 11, it didn't enable device encryption. But again, there's enough on setting up encryption that it should be its own video. Either way, that's it for now. See ya.